today we're going to simulate an antique copper look using Easy Flow Clear and Sculpt Nouveau's new copper metal rub. Now the first thing we'll need to do is cast our resin ornamental piece. Now this was molded off of a cast iron lamp base and it actually had a hole in the top of the mold and we'll need to plug that. So that was one of the things I thought it'd be interesting to show here is how to cast into a mold like this that has a problem area like that. We're going to use some Vaseline to seal that hole because the Vaseline will be fairly easy to clean off. We could also use some wax later, anything like that that will act as a stop for a leak um, that will seal up that hole. So here we're just going to take a glob of Vaseline and plug that hole. Now a larger mold, you probably couldn't get away with this. The pressure of the casting might push that out. So it might be good to make a temporary silicone plug to fill that hole. Now we're using a tension strap here to close the mold and we want to apply just enough tension to the mold that we get a good seal. Since this is a rubber to rubber mold like this, it'll act like a gasket. If we put just the right amount of tension on that mold, we can make sure we get a really nice tight seam and no leaks in that mold. And now ready to mix up our resin. Now this particular part takes about 12 ounces, 12 fluid ounces of resin to cast. So we're gonna first pour out six ounces of part B and then we're gonna add some black polycolor. Now Easy Flow Clear normally comes out just kind of a translucent amber color. So if we add a little bit of a black color to it, we'll get a, a nice uh, cast iron look or just a plain flat black look to our part. And we'll need that to create a good base color for when we do the copper metal rub later on. Now I like to always mix my black into my part B first just to make sure that's properly dispersed before we add the A and stir those two materials together. Because as soon as we add that A and stir it up, the clock starts ticking and we only have about two and a half minutes to pour our casting resin and make our part. Now because this uh, ornamental piece has a lot of crazy little places coming off of it, I want to make sure we tip the mold and jostle it around a little bit just to make sure that we've got all the air bubbles out. And just keep in mind, every mold is going to take a little bit different finesse to make sure that you get that casting resin in all the little crevices of your part. Now, once we've done that, we're going to fill it up the rest of the way. And I had to cheat here a little bit. We didn't have quite enough resin, so I mixed up another batch of about two ounces just to fill the base of that piece. Now, here's our cast part. Now Easy Flow Clear, even after it sets, initially it'll have a little bit of flexibility to it. Uh, and it will continue to cure until it's a, a very hard plastic part. But when it's in that green stage, that's a great time to demold your part and clean up any of the flashing. But keep in mind for any of the sanding work you might need to do, it's better to let the part sit for a few hours and get to its full hardness before you go to sand on the part because when it's soft it's a little difficult to sand but see that give right there in our part uh, that's what you see typical of a freshly cast easy flow clear piece now we'll remove our flashing and then we'll be ready to apply our copper metal rub now we're going to apply the copper metal rub a day after our part has had time to finish curing so it'll be nice and hard now here's the copper metal rub. Now this is a, a copper uh, colored wax and it's a great finishing material for ornamental pieces like this. We're just going to use a soft brush to dry brush just a little bit of our copper metal rub over our resin part. And it's always a good idea to test that on a surface, a clean uh, surface just to make sure you got an idea of how much wax you're going to lay down and then just lightly brush that over the surface of the part. Now since we've got that nice black background color, when we apply that copper over the surface, it really brings out the contrast and the highs and lows and gives us a really nice antique copper look. Now by itself, we've got a pretty nice part, but keep in mind you could use other colored waxes to supplement this, such as the green or the verde wax to get a, an antique or an oxidized copper look. And once you've applied the wax, you want to give that a few hours to dry completely and harden. And there we have our finished ornamental resin piece that now has the appearance of antique copper.